About two days after we were home from hospital, after the birth of our second child, my wife and I got a phone call from the hospital saying that we had to urgently come in for a meeting because they suspected that our daughter had a genetic disorder. So we went along to a, a very extensive meeting for genetic counselling. Genetic counselling is the process where uh, couples who are either thinking about having a family or perhaps after they've had started having a family, they're, they're given advice and options and plenty of information and education from experts, uh, genetic counsellors and doctors to help them make decisions about the best way for them to plan their family. So there's a couple of options. Um, certainly there's, there's options of screening and so what we're doing with genetic screening is that uh, both the both par parents of the couple uh, can provide uh, a sample for genetic testing. So they have a look at the DNA in the, the parent's cells to identify any markers uh, of genetic disorders, I should say. Now the thing is that there there's really is a tremendous number of disorders. So you, you, it's probably unrealistic for uh, for, for couples who don't have a family history to, to go about having screening just in case. So normally couples don't know that there's uh, any risk of a genetic disease unless there's a family history. So with that family history it may be that um, they've got a parent or a grandparent or uh, an uncle, somewhere in their family somebody has had a particular genetic disease. And so they will have screening to help determine whether uh, the, the mum and dad are actually carriers of the genes for that disorder and whether they'll pass it on to their children. So screening occurs before pregnancy. Now, so what would happen then if a, a couple has identified that they are at risk of, say, if they are carriers of, the, uh, of a mutant gene that will cause a genetic disorder? So after screening then, what does a couple do? Well, one of their options is to not have children. So that is usually not going to be satisfactory for most couples. Another option they might do is they might adopt children. But other options again would be IVF, where they could get um, a donor egg or donor sperm or whatever is required. The other, so that would be having a donor. But the other option with IVF might be that um, the, uh, the IVF team is able to uh, look at the, 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 the blastocysts um, and identify one that doesn't actually have the disease. Or well, for example, if it's a sex-linked disease, that they might be able to identify a female um, blastocyst to implant instead of a, a male. So that is certainly possible. So they can select a healthy, uh, and normally they do it at the blastocyst stage, which is around about eight cells together. Select a healthy blastocyst. All right, now, so what happens after pregnancy? Um, so a couple is, say, pregnant, with a child. There's some options for, for testing um, during pregnancy as well. And so during pregnancy testing, we have got amniocentesis, okay, which involves putting a needle in and pulling out some of the amniotic fluid uh, around the, the baby. So there is a risk to the mother and the child from amniocentesis. It largely is um, used for identifying chromosomal disorders like Down syndrome. Uh, another more modern test is called chorionic villus sampling. Now the chorionic villus are uh, a series of blood vessels as part of the placenta. Now they're genetically exactly the same cells as the child. So the, the doctor is able to take a sample of these cells uh, and, uh, and, and look at those for uh, 
and they've done, developed a number of tests to be able to identify markers for a number of genetic disorders, including cystic fibrosis, which is of course a respiratory condition where large amounts of mucus, uh, very sticky mucus is produced. Um, haemophilia, haemophilia is a, a blood clotting disorder that is uh, sex linked, so it's males that get that. Um, muscular dystrophy, again, uh, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy is again sex linked, so it's the boys to get it, it's a progressive muscular disorder. Huntington's, Huntington's is a neurological disorder associated with uh, progressive weakness uh, and it comes on the second half of life. Uh, and so each of these is really a, a life limiting condition uh, and so all really important to be able to identify. There's others that uh, they can also test for and um, for example Alzheimer's type of dementia, uh, PKU or phenylketonuria and also um, bipolar as well so there's tests for all of these things. Now after testing what are the options for the parents? One of the options is to continue to carry the child through uh, pregnancy in knowing that there, there is a high chance or for certain that the child is going to have a genetic disorder but they're preparing for it. Um, alternatively, they may choose to terminate the pregnancy. Alternatively, they may choose to terminate the pregnancy. Now, uh, that obviously has significant social and cultural uh, considerations and it's certainly not done lightly, but it is an option for parents. So genetic counselling is the process of, of helping parents make decisions about their family planning.